Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing a relatively intriguing proposition and a somewhat interesting explanation for how in certain conditions, such as for example on the Saturn's moon Titan, we could actually have very unusual chemical effects entirely created by quantum physics, which at least in theory could even produce effects very similar to what life does right here on planet Earth. In this case, using a scientific phenomenon referred to as quantum tunneling. But more intriguingly, we're also going to be discussing several other studies that actually sort of imply that all of this also affects us right now, you, me, and everything around us, in a way that we don't actually realize and in a way that we didn't really know about up until relatively recently. So let's discuss this a little bit more, but first I guess let's start with Titan. So why Titan and why exactly quantum tunneling? Well, you might be already aware that the moon Titan is one of the most exciting objects in the solar system, except for, of course, planet Earth. It's the only other object we know of that has really complex liquid cycle, including liquid oceans and lakes. It also has a relatively thick atmosphere filled with things like ethane, methane, and potentially a lot of other hydrocarbons, and overall is filled with a lot of organic compounds that we usually associate with life. But in this case, there's a small problem. It's super cold here. And so the liquid cycle is not water, it's actually ethane and methane, and the temperature is approximately minus 180 Celsius or minus 290 Fahrenheit. In these frigid conditions, we don't expect a lot of chemistry to take place, especially when it comes to organic chemistry and when it comes to creation of things like DNA. But even though at low temperatures of Titan, there might not be enough energy in order to force these reactions to happen, in theory, this could be overcome with quantum physics. And specifically the physics we're still learning about, but the physics that we know life already depends on anyway. For example, quantum tunneling is the reason we have things like nuclear fusion inside the sun. All of the heat produced from the sun, with all of the hydrogen fusing and producing helium, is actually a result of quantum tunneling and not any classical physics at all. And there are quite a lot of different articles that analyze this, and time and time again the calculations suggest that the only reason we have nuclear fusion inside the sun is because of individual hydrogen atoms occasionally experiencing quantum tunneling effects and creating helium, literally allowing particles to pass from one location to another almost instantly and thus merge into something else. And that's of course a lot of small particles are not just particles, they also start acting as waves. And in this case, it allows various things like electrons or atoms to pass through potential barriers that they would not have energy to pass through otherwise. In other words, just like the image right here shows you, a particle can actually go through a wall as long as its probability wave can reach the other side of the wall as well. It doesn't happen to all of the particles, but there's always a small chance. And intriguingly, a very similar phenomenon can actually drive relatively complex chemistry on extremely cold objects like Titan. It might even become the main source for a lot of chemical reactions around these super cold objects. And so in this case, when a chemical reaction requires a transfer of proton or electron, it can actually easily happen using quantum tunneling and not necessarily classical chemistry. And even though in this case the scientists haven't really officially simulated actual reactions yet, when they perform simulations of chemical reactions in Titan-like conditions, their general simulations so far have been very promising. Which means that when it comes to prebiotic chemistry or chemistry that eventually results in life, there's actually a really high chance that this is the only way these reactions can occur in these very cold conditions. But obviously all of this might sound a little bit too far-fetched or at least extremely unlikely because obviously we don't really see quantum tunneling in real life very often and we don't actually see things jumping through walls or spontaneous chemical reactions happening all at once. And so is this all then kind of far-fetched and potentially hypothetical? Turns out, not at all. And this is coming from a lot of other studies on even things like our DNA. Now it's already been established that, for example, birds very often use quantum effects and specifically the entangled state of various magnetic particles inside their eyes to sense the Earth's magnetosphere. It's also been established that photosynthesis also seems to depend on quantum effects inside the molecules of chlorophyll as tiny particles are somehow able to achieve a state of superposition in order to find the correct path. So life definitely found ways to use quantum effects already, but it gets even stranger. Several recent experiments in the last few years started to discover that tunneling also takes place in DNA of pretty much all life on the planet, allowing certain atoms to break through energetic barriers and combine into something else. 
and you can find several papers in the description that deal with this concept quite directly. The concept of DNA transforming not through some chemical reaction or through classical chemistry, but entirely through quantum effects. One of the first such observations was back in 2021. The observations of spontaneous mutations inside DNA where the hydrogen molecules would jump from one place to another and thus changing the DNA just a little bit. And although one or two such jumps would not really affect DNA permanently, because the scientists believe so many happen all at once, this does actually dramatically change DNA structure over time. In other words, it implies that the mutation process itself does not even require anything from the outside. It happens naturally, spontaneously, without presence of any radiation, any chemicals, or anything else we usually associate with mutation. And although in this case they were only able to model very small strands of DNA, focusing on very specific pieces, with the effects only visible in small parts, at least in theory the scientists believe this would happen everywhere inside the DNA molecule. Unfortunately, the current computers are not actually powerful enough to try to simulate this just yet. At the same time, they also discovered that certain bonds, for example, AT bonds inside DNA, are much more likely to mutate using the process of quantum tunneling compared to GC pairs, simply due to the strength of the bond and due to the location of hydrogen, which implies that quantum tunneling might drive certain types of mutation, but not other types. But I guess more intriguingly, a similar paper from 2022 discovered something else even more unusual. It turns out that the rate of mutations through quantum tunneling is possibly several hundred times higher than previously believed, possibly even resulting in a lot more mutations than classical mutations, which sometimes happen with hydrogen atoms jumping from one location to another because of the overall motion of DNA. Now, it doesn't mean that this is the most powerful type of mutation, but it just means that it's way more potent than anyone imagined, and the actual chemical reactions resulting from quantum tunneling are dramatically more powerful than anyone thought possible. So in that sense, it definitely affects you, me, and everyone around us, even without anyone realizing. But what about other types of chemistry? Well, this is what this recent paper decided to investigate as well. They wanted to find out if all kinds of chemistry can actually happen through quantum tunneling. And in this case, the main focus was, once again, hydrogen. Simply because this is a type of chemical reactions we would expect on objects like Titan. And so in this case, the scientists wanted to observe if the interaction between hydrogen and deuterium atoms would be mostly driven by classical chemistry, or if the atoms would also be affected by quantum tunneling as well. And so here, by taking cooldown deuterium and hydrogen, they expected the hydrogen molecules to be a lot less likely affected by the interaction with deuterium ions. Or in other words, they expected the hydrogen molecule to remain as a molecule and not turn into some kind of a hybrid or an atomic hydrogen. Something that normally occurs when there's deuterium ions around. But by looking at this mixture after 15 minutes of interaction, they were able to discover that the actual composition was a little bit different from what was expected from classical physics. Implying that once again tunneling has occurred, allowing chemical reactions in these very very cold conditions. Although the actual rate was pretty low, possibly only one event for every 100 billion collisions. Nevertheless, it was definitely happening and clearly suggested that similar chemical reactions can take place around other objects including Titan or a lot of other super cold places in the solar system. Thus kind of confirming that we can have organic chemistry pretty much anywhere in the entire universe, independent of what the actual conditions are. Now these would be not very fast reactions, they would be actually super super slow, but given billions of years and stable enough environment, quantum tunneling in theory could produce something similar to what we have on Earth. Now obviously this is all very theoretical and we're not going to know more until we actually go to Titan, which is expected to happen in the next 10 years, but nevertheless these actual discoveries with physical experiments teach us something that we kind of never really knew before. Quantum tunneling, and specifically quantum chemistry I guess, is a lot more influential than anyone thought possible. Which of course means that we're probably going to be coming back to this idea a little bit later, specifically once there are more studies and more research, just because I'm now super curious to discover what the scientists find next. And that's because in the last few years, when it comes to quantum physics, there already have been so many exciting discoveries. But until future studies, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.